Hey, welcome back to James's Repair Shop. Got a little project for the 65 hardtop. The driver's side uh, floor pan in the front. Front floor pan needs to be replaced. Not all of it, but we're going to do the whole thing anyway. It's uh, thin in places. The passenger side, we'll just take a few uh, uh, patches. It's only got a couple holes in it here and there, mostly along the seams. Pretty common stuff. So what we have here is, well, I have this brand new sheet of steel which seems like a shame to cut, but it has to get used sometime. Take a mortgage out in the house to buy one of those now. Anyway, so also my wife went ahead and she made an outline of the passenger side one of the front floor pan print. And then she went ahead and she made a cardboard cutout of it. So the idea what we're gonna do is, of course, we have to get it set the right way. So this is for the, this is for the right side, so we have to flip it for the, for the left side. And then once we get the steel cut out, we'll, tra we'll trace on with the cardboard the perimeter of the pattern, the, the bead roll that we're going to be doing, which I should have mentioned. This will be a bead rolling video also. So let's move ahead and uh, I've got the shears set up and my wife's going to just stabilize the sheet of steel because they tend to wobble around with the shears and I'll get some uh, gloves on and we'll go at her. All right, I got Beverly holding the sheet of steel. I got my knee on it down here. The vice is hitting me in the arm. I got some glasses on, mainly because I can't see, but uh, safety glasses, the ones that are magnified. All right, let's go. Piece of steel, thanks Beverly. All right, so now I've got my wife's template and I, uh, I put some lines on, reference lines on the new panel. So I think it's uh, nine and a half inches to the drain hole, the first bolt in the drain hole. The drain hole is three and a half inches. That's, that's the, actually the actual factory edge underneath the, where your feet go. And then this comes up within an eighth of an inch of the frame of the pinch weld. And that one is five and seven eighths out from that drain hole bolt, the first one. So these the measurements here are right off the factory measurements. This all over here is arbitrary. Not, this line's not, but all the rest are, are variable because it depends on how big of a patch you need. But these ones here, nine and a half inches and five and seven eighths, and then three and a half for the drain hole. Those are set from the factory. That's the way it was built, uh, according to the measurements I got off this Thunderbird. So now I'll keep all that stuff because this one here will need two made as well. The back ones are good in this car as well. The front ones are gone. So, so yeah, the drain hole, and then it drops down around here. So the really bead rolling all this out. So that's what I'm up to. So I'll put it on the English wheel and do a little, little stretching of that area. The panel will look pretty rough after that, but that's what you're trying to do is make, uh, give yourself some extra metal. And uh, start bead rolling for when you start bead rolling. All right, I uh, got her set up in the English wheel, my little English wheel I have here. It'll work good for this job. And I get it around where the light's better maybe. So I'm just gonna go around and go through the areas, like I said. So I'll get that done and I'll get back to you. Well, there she is. Definitely put a little stretch in it. Get it all humped up now. And it's hard to see, but it's, uh, it's got a little crown on each one of these areas that I'll be stretching. So that'll help with uh, when I bead roll it to settle it down some. It's pre-stretched a tiny bit. So now we'll set up the bead roller and uh, I'll probably, maybe I'll, no, I can still see those marks easy enough. Uh, set up the bead roller and uh, see what I can get done with that. All right, I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, I've got a joggle die on. It's set three eighths uh, apart uh, from the top and lower die. And I cranked it down four turns on my machine. That'll be different on yours, depending on the thread of your... Uh, adjusting screw. 
Well, there she is. It needs some dressing up. This is, uh, I'm gonna be uh, rolling this out. I'm gonna mark off the hole that needs to be there. And there's some, you know, some touch up with some hammer and dolly. Well, not hammer and dolly, but a hammer and punch. Just to clean up the edges a little bit. And then finalize these ones with a half round. But that, I think for the old Thunderbird, that'll be pretty good. My first one, of these is made so you know they learn stuff as you go so I ended up doing it all with the uh, joggle die and I just made tracks because these are these are kind of wider than my uh, bead roller dies that I have so I just try to made tracks down through and then leave and leave this uh, raised on the top like that anyway I'm thinking it'll be just it'll be fine you can see the tracks they're not perfectly straight but so that's what I did. So I just kept switching it around and going one way and going the other. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit, once I get this down, it'll straighten this panel out a little bit more. All right, so I'll continue on with it. All right, now I'm, put, I'm putting the drain hole in. So what I did, I just took uh, some radius uh, tools and, and measured that and transferred it onto the plate. You, and using these holes as reference. This is kind of the baseline for all this panel is off these two holes, mainly the forward hole. So now I got the joggle dies on again, still on, and I'm just gonna joggle it around. And these just have a little lip that drops down and this sits on top. So it sits the opposite way that the, the lip is. So let's get her in, see what happens. It's a pretty tight one. she is so now I can uh, cut it out and then, then flare it down some by hand and then I'll dress up these edges with a uh, rounded I'll do these better too I have to make a tool for that so I'll have to get that built but that's not too bad that's looking out all right as for a floor pan a little, wo a little woggly on some of the lines but this is going to be covered with uh, sound deadening material and carpet and everything never going to see it well there she is the holes cut panel is a little bit warped but i'll be welding it into the car anyway i went back through the through here with the 3 8 beads just to straighten it out some i didn't like the look of the, what i had earlier so i went back through with the 3 8 and then i just cut the hole out and i used the vice grips to straighten it up some and ground it off a little bit. I did a little shrinking, stretching here and there around the perimeter. Didn't do a lot to it. It's warped, it's warped. But 
I'm sure it'll work fine in the old Thunderbird. Let's go have a look. There she is. I just just have it set in. It's oversized. It has to go up under the frame rail there. It has to go up under the where the kick panel comes down or the floor foot foot place for the floor. Well, that's it. I think it'll look pretty good. All right. It's been quite a while since I made that floor pan, but now it's time to put it in. So I've marked off an area roughly where I want it to be and avoiding any rust areas and I'm trying to avoid the frame rail that runs in there so I want to have room so I can weld both sides and not on top of the frame underneath the frame rail so we're going to cut along there I'm going to cut it right into here and if it's thin in here I'll put a piece in this is easy to do right there I'll leave some on the, the panel and then this is an easy fix up here I'll just cut it I'll cut it in straight and then I can replace this whole just a strip of metal that goes in there and then the floor pan like I said earlier in this video floor pan goes up underneath and that one will be fixed Beverly's over here taking the console out what's going on just getting her out getting her done gotta get it cleaned up it yeah we can't still get the stinks. still getting the mice smell so yep. the console and the heater box is gonna have to come out of it yeah but that's what it takes if you want these things to smell good all right back at her all right, I've got it loosely in place, floor pan, and I'm going to cut. I'm going to tack it in place, and then I'm going to cut and butt it. And uh, it'll be good enough for a floor pan. Well, there she is. Uh, she's welded in as much as I can weld it from the top right now. Uh, I have to weld the bottom yet, and I put some uh, plug weld holes along there. I gave it a couple extra stitch over there just to make it stronger and I have a lot of grinding to do obviously but that's it um, one floor pan for this old buggy the other side only needs a little couple little patches here and there so it won't take a full floor uh, floor pan not like this side but this will be solid uh, so now I gotta grind it all down and I'll paint her up and um, seam seal it and that's it so i'm not gonna bore you to death with a bunch of grinding and that kind of thing but i'll show you what i've done in the uh, video when i start installing the carpets so for now that's it this has been a long journey i started this floor pan before i went on holidays so back in uh, june i guess it was late june early july so She's in now and looking pretty good, I think. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.